my name is Paisley Code. Um, this is the COTS assignment for um, energy harvesting, um, and I worked on this project with Harrison. So here you can see um, a board connected to a power source or a energy dispenser, <laughs> um, which essentially sends frequencies um, to this antenna here, which is then sent to the board. Um, and within the board, there's a capacitor which charges up over time, and then as um, the board performs certain um, cryptographic um, algorithms, um, which are contained within the board, this power is sort of used up, and then it dispenses out. Later on, I will show a video of um, this occurring. But as you can see here, this is sort of an example setup um, for showing how the board would potentially look in practice. The energy is sort of leading into this antenna, and then the board is performing the calculation, which you can tell based on the green light being shown, showing that it's actually doing something currently. So here is the Pico setup. Um, so the red line is the supercapacitor, um, and it'll show it sort of increasing in power, and then the blue line is the boost converter, which is sort of um, helping charge um, the and power the computation. Um, and at the bottom, there is a manual sort of trigger put into place um, with uh, using GPIO in order to help determine whether or not we're finished um, performing the um, cryptographic operation. Um, so here you can see the lines going up, indicating that it's fully charged and being used, and then it goes back down again. And as you can see here, the red line sort of goes up and down intermittently, sort of showing the flow um, of energy going into the uh, supercapacitor. Um, you can see on the bottom, the GPIO is sort of up at one point, um, indicating that one cycle has been completed. So now we keep going, another cycle, um, and then for one third time, this is the last cycle. So it runs for two and a half cycles. Um, yeah. So within the code for performing the encryption, um, we have persistent right here, and this essentially helps ensure that the information is still kept the same even uh, when the power goes out um, in this context. So after each cycle, you see how the blue line sort of goes down. Um, so essentially that means that that information is still being kept safe in this context, but it's still like able to load back up when it loads back up again um, using persistent in this case.